Okay, Devils, how we doing? Here we are Friday the 29th. Uh, Sam here with you. Of course, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin today. Now, uh, here we just, you know, for the members, bear with me here. For those of you watching on YouTube here, I'll just be as brief as I can here. Uh, I just remind you here that if you're interested in our material, you can always you can always join us for free. I draw your attention to that t today uh, specifically because next week on Monday and Tuesday, we're going to uh, have sort of an uh, some, some we're opening up some channels to our free members, uh, so they'll have access to all of the social channels as well, and there'll, there'll be a couple of live streams that'll be going on both Monday and Tuesday that you would have access to as a free member. Now, of course, if you do join us as a free member, again, I remind you, there's no commitment here, no credit card, no, there's nothing, no, no funny business going on. This will simply get you into our Discord. So the process here, you'll, you'll click this, and then it'll walk you through the process where you'll get an, a link that will drop you into our Discord where we'll meet you there. And then, of course, of course you'll have limited access as a free member. You will have some access, of course, but it would be limited access. And of course, there's different degrees of access based on the on the membership that you were to choose. But as we think this is, there's tremendous value here in the in social at $49 a month. There's a lot there. And really the only thing you're not getting access to is the belt system, but it's a great way to get exposed to some of the more advanced content and then decide if you want to just, you know, take on the bigger challenge of going into the belt system where of course you're making a bigger investment. So I just, I, I bring that to your attention as we will be doing that on uh, Monday, likely will be a crypto live stream. Now Tuesday and Thursday, every week I do uh, futures day trading live streams and we do it through Ninja Trader where we have, many of you don't probably don't know this, but we have a whole series of custom tools that um, my partner and I designed here that are specific for Ninja Trader, they're specific for day trading applications. But we, I shouldn't think at this time, we've got, I think, 40, 40 different indicators. These are the premium indicators here, some of which each one of these has a video attached to it. So if you were interested in learning a little bit more about that, you could come on over here to our website and just click on indicators and you'll get information as well as a video walkthrough on how to use these. But again, I just, I reference that because most of everything that we've put up here on YouTube has always been based off of uh, charts on trading view. But quite honestly, I, most of my trading is all futures day trading, where it's partly that's where I cut my teeth, is where, where I have, I'm most comfortable. It's also some of the most difficult trading you know, anywhere. Right? It's very difficult to do. So we, this, thus why I designed all of these tools here, because these, these are the tools that I lean on to do that trading successfully. And, you know, if that interests you at all, the other thing that, we, that I'll, I'll reference to you, because of the volatility, uh, the uh, margin on futures, of course, is, has been expanded. And we do, we, we go back and forth. So one day we'll do full size, the other day we'll do micros, just so people don't feel like they can't participate because they can't, you know, carry a $12,000 margin on a, on a two lot in the S&P. So th there are alternatives available to you should you be interested in going that direction and getting, getting involved with some futures trading. Without having to po you know, have, without having to have a 25 or a 50k account. So, so micros, if you can trade micros with, well, you know, thousand dollars, I would tell you would probably be a, a, a minimum to start with. But that that's an option for you. So again, if you're interested in any of that, come on in, join the live stream. You'll watch me trade it live, and we'll talk through. There's a lot of education in the process as well. Okay, all of that said, let's get uh, over here to Bitcoin. Okay, guys. So there you go. Now. So th this here, obviously, no Elliott Wave on this. Hang on one second. Just no wave count here. And I, I like to keep, well, of course, I have a wave count, right? So we're, and we're going to get there. So I have, I have a count. But I, I like to keep one chart, and I'll, often it'll be daily, you know, higher time frames. Where just there's no Elliott Wave. I'm just looking for... The price action. I'm looking for geometry here. In this case, I'm usually I'm looking for geometry. I'm just looking for something that takes me completely out of the context of what's the where's the last impulse? Was that corrective? What it just gets me out of that Elliott mindset. I just want to try and simplify sometimes, and, and then I look to work the two together. So it, it, it's it's easy, right? We get we get so focused on. You know what's happening on the 15 minute or the 60 minute. You, you you need to on a regular basis check back to the daily, get some bigger picture perspective. 
And that's really all I'm doing here. Now, I, I'm, I've wicked off some, some key areas here that are obvious. We, we know that, well, double tops and double bottoms are, are very prominent in trading, right? And it's, it's, it's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a game that the traders play, right? To try and suck you into these moves. So you, you, this is pervasive in, in FX, right? So literally every pivot, there's a double top or a double bottom within a few ticks. It's, it's unbelievably pervasive in the way that market makers take advantage of the public. But you see similar things happening here in Bitcoin, right? Looking at the daily, and here are double top, double top, double bottom. Here's a double, double top, double top here. Well, you know, and it here, just kind of a range here where I'm just looking at this pivot, running into this pivot. And now all I've done here is just, just drawn some trend lines, but we had parallel trend lines. So here I'm just going from the pivot high. I'm just connecting. I note that the two edges here connect perfectly, but then I also have this inside trend line. So I just took a channel and just took out the center line. And so it's giving me kind of this you know, if you want to call it a fat trend line, if you will, that, that, that's a range that I know we need to get through. And it's kind of the same thing here. So I'm just taking these two lower pivots, just running that up as a trend line, but I've also got these in, this internal trend line here. If I connect this with this, again, just put it onto a channel so I get a zone here, kind of a, kind of a trading zone. Now, one of the things that we teach, and this is it, we go over this in depth in the, in the white belt, which by the way, free to you, right? If you join as a free member, you get access to the white belt. It's totally free to you. And this is one of the things that we'll teach you. And it's just simple trend line stuff, but it's, it's so simple. People, people forget to use it. So this is a great example right here. Well, each of these channels, right, will will also. But let me just show you. This is such a good example. So just just taking the the two first little pivots that we get down here off of this daily chart, and just kind of run that up. Okay. So I've got this just 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 getting started on this this trend. I don't know where that's going at that moment in time. I just know I have two pivots that I can connect. Right? It gives me a trend line. Well, of course, it goes much steeper than that. So if I look inside of this, well, if I take that same pivot, I go, well, hey, I got I got a steeper series of, of, of pivots that I can connect to here. And the idea is when we break one of these pivots, we're very likely to go down to the next trend line. If we break that, we're very likely to keep going. Now here we get a, just a complete collapse as this is the COVID collapse. But that's not, not a bad example there. It's something we go over in, in a lot of detail to where these can be really effective ways to, to, to grab, grab some movement there. Now, you, of course, you wouldn't have known right there at that moment that you were going to break that. You'd have been adding in a little, a little fib retracement to see, okay, what, what happens there? When we break this one, well, we go to the 50 and we pause, then we come down here, we break this, you're right into the golden zone. You'd have had to wait there until that broke so you knew, okay, you were in the clear. But that's, a, that's not a bad example of it right there. And you could you know kind of do the same thing right here. You say, okay, well, I had this very steep trend line coming down. Once I break that, well, then that creates all of this. You can do kind of the same same thing here, right? Once once we break here, well, we're likely, right? You'd have until the next set of trend lines. Break that one. Now you're going up to the next set, and look where we stop, right? Right, right. Taking the, that trend line, we come right up to it. Looks like it misses it by a tick, and then what do we do? Double top, double top, double bottom. Right, so it's just pervasive, but this is a simple approach, right? You don't need any Elliott way. Of course, you're going to want to check the FIB relationships, but it's just a simple, simple, simple way to approach the market that's very effective. Right, break this one, we're going to this one. Break this one, we're going to this one. Coming down, break this one. Well, here you've been watching the golden zone. Break that one. Now you're just in a free fall. All right, so let me clean some of this up here, and we'll get over to current price action here, but just I try and include a little bit of a, a lesson in each one of these if I can. So let's get that. All right, so let's just still, just staying on this. Well, let's let's do a quick review. So from the high, we know why we why we hit our heads here, right? So we, we, we hit a golden zone right here from, from the, well, let's get that right on there. It actually goes a touch in, right? It gets a couple of ticks in, and now this has been very stiff resistance. Right, we know we know Bitcoin is very responsive at the golden zone, so this is not surprising. And now now you put this you know this this fatter channel on this to try and break above this. We're gonna this is gonna need a pretty good kick to get up here. Now what what of course bears you know or or cautious bulls. How about I say it that way? Look at this and go well in this entire move. Right, come back here. 
in, this, in the entire move off of the low, we, we've not had a decent retracement. So it just, it, you, you, naturally you feel like, oh, it's due. Oh man, it's, at some point it's got to retrace. Well, market don't got to do anything, right? It's going to do what it's going to do. But it, 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 it just statistically, you would anticipate a, a retracement of some, of some significance j just to give it the energy capacity to go up and go down. Now, does it need to go that deep? Well, no, it doesn't, doesn't need to do, again, it doesn't need to do anything. But a, as we sit here looking at this, this is what I think why, why, why cautious bulls are nervous buying up here. And as you should be, right? Because we've just, we're so extended without, this is the only decent retracement we've had here. And it was, it was a 50 from a lower pivot, but nothing significant. So if you were looking at this and you're thinking, well, man, if it's, if it's got to come down and again, it doesn't got to do anything, but if it's going to come down, where are some logical places where we might anticipate some support, right? Trying to, trying to plan for that possibility, right? And it certainly looks like it's a little tired. I mean, the other thing to do here, we can just look at this and say, well, boy, the market sure does have a tendency to do these triangles, doesn't it? Right? There's one. Now here, we're not quite there yet, right? But it's lit. I mean, just look at the, it's just like the S&P, same, same idea here. Now we're not quite there yet, but right? so this is going to be interesting up here. If we come back up here to this double top area, if we're going to get another V, I mean, you can see how, how it does this right here. So it, these, right, but it do, it's not quite making the high there, right? And then it does it again, right? Here, we get these Vs. It's not quite making the high. Then it re, really, you could, you could keep going. So it's, it's not quite making the high, right? So here's the first time that we get, whoa, it really, really rips back. Now here, again, that's that's so extreme, doesn't quite make the high. So it's a series of, hey, we'll hear this being a double top, but it's lower high, lower high, lower high. Now to break that trend, we're going to need to kick and we we got to get through this which means we got to get through that golden zone well, you know, but then kind of just sticking with the same idea and again this is it's, there's a little bit of education in this as well as just a different approach so if I if this is me, I, this is I'm just going to start drawing these channels like this so I go okay well, I'm going to start connecting some of these lines so if I get that right on there Get that right on there. Well, then I'd go, I'd probably go up here. Let's get rid of the middle. All right. So I get, I've got a secondary channel here. I'm going to take this off because I just want to focus on these channels. Well, I kind of look here and I go kind of the same thing. I if I, if I look at this pivot here, which is, happens to be point of control. Now this is visible range. So what I can see, I got, I got another channel here. Well, kind of the same thing down here. Look at this I go, okay, well, there's my low you right right on there I'm gonna come up to I'm gonna use this pivot low here because that's a double top with this pivot over here it's tick tick perfect so I've got kind of now this series of this range you know kind of like and look here okay well if if I'm gonna break if I'm gonna break down here where am I likely to find some support well I can kind of look over here well here's a high volume node it's clearly we had this so this being a, 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 a very reasonable place where we had prior resistance prior resistance right if we're going to come back up, I got to get through these fat trend lines. You just think of them as fat trend lines. Where are we going to go? If I'm, if I'm going to get up here, I got to get through this very fat trend line. Right? If I'm going to go up here, if I break, start breaking down, where am I likely to go? Back to that trend line. If this, if this, you know, if we're going to start coming down, well, then now we start putting some fibs on it. So grab, grab from the low. Well, here's the 50. Right, so so the center line of that channel is the 50 down here. Well, now we'd be approaching the golden zone here, looking at this prior double double bottom right here. We're coming to the golden zone. We got to get through this big fat resistance channel up here to get up to that upper algo target. Just a different way to look at the market, but I think there's value here. So this is the kind of thing, right? So I wouldn't necessarily be trading off of this per se, but I want to have this as a reference. So I can just where are where you know just take you know throw the Elliot off the chart all Elliot removed. What, where's the geometry? What can I see here? Is this guiding me to any of the decisions that that you know might might influence where I'm looking for the next opportunity? Right now we, we seem to be just kind of stuck. You just kind of you just you know, kind of even if you took did the same thing, you just kind of looked this well. Let's, let's do it here. Let me do it this way. Let me get this just off of this low where we're sitting right here. You know, we're just kind of we're kind of stuck in here. Can't decide which which way we want to go here. 
Now, I wouldn't necessarily draw it. Well, kind of interesting, right? We've got we, you'd have a channel there. So if I did that, right now, now you get a little overly crowded. The, the other thing I might do here is just looking at where these two intersect, right? So if I just took a a, tr a line here and said, okay, well, there's there there's an intersection right there. There is an intersection right there. So I get a couple of X's right there. So just in this capacity, kind of makes me think, hmm, I might want to be paying attention to what's going on right in that arena right there. Right where those two X's, where I get those two X's. So if anything that's happening, if we're, we're gonna, whether we go up or down, I get right into this range here from, what do I got? Well, here, let me do it this way. From, that's June 10th to June 27th, all right? So I got a 17 day window in there. We, we get into that, we get into this 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 area right here. Now let's put that in, in uh, we'll put it in green, right? We get into this area, I, heads up. All right, that's just a lot of confluence, right? So it kind of gives you this nice fat, I mean, it looks, looks a bit GAN-like, but it, it, you get kind of a, a confluence zone here I wanna pay attention to. That time frame, this zone, this intersection. Right, no, no, no Elliot involved, just kind of looking at structure, price action, swing relationships, some fat trend lines. Heads up when we get into that zone. All right, so there's a, just a few ideas, just a different way to look at the market. And again, my suggestion is keep this somewhere so you can have it to refer back to. So you check back and see what, what, what's happening during that time frame. Now, off to uh, kind of updating the count where we left it from last Friday, we, at this point, We've kind of, you know, again, we're kind of stuck in this range. Now, most of, well, any, any Elliotician here is looking at this, well, it sure looks like a triangle. And we're, we're, we're far enough into this to where it, it, it does appear like that. this is a candidate, right? So I, I'm always reluctant to, to suggest a triangle until I get at least four pivots, right? So we, we, we've got the D now, potentially, right? But this could change, but we've, we've got the D now. So if we, if we start to retrace here, we come down now, we don't necessarily always anticipate that the E is gonna come right to this trend line, but there you go, there's another trend line example. But if we, the implication here is that we're, this is very four-like, we know we've hit our head up here in a golden zone and we struggle. So, well, again, here, note up here, another, double top. I mean, you could damn near call this a triple top. So you could kind of do the, do the same thing up here and say, well, I got a, I got a pretty st stiff ridge of resistance up here and we know it's tied to that golden zone from above, which I just showed you. So if this is going to come down to that, to this, to this E and give me a four, well, then it's a matter of degree, right? So w what is it the four of, right? Because this count is a little tricky. And this is <laughs> surprisingly, well, maybe not surprisingly, Amongst my senseis and amongst um, many subs and followers, this is not a very popular count, right? And, you know, and I get that, right? It's 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 a bit unusual. Now, last week we were looking at this potentially as a as this being a start on a one two, but since we did we we now have hit our heads here, it kind of is leaning into the into the triangle. So if it's going to be a triangle and not not three four and we're going to go one two into the five now of course that that could change right so if we, if we do this and we but really even if if we hit this center line here you'd likely still put the put the e there and say well it's an underthrow on the e which is very common for an e wave to not make it all the way back to that trend line so you're kind of at this point this needs to come a little further to to so you feel a little you know quite confident in putting the four there of that triangle with the implication being that the next move is we're going up. Well, we say here we've got another channel. Go up here and get, get that five. You can see I've got an alert up here at this zone because that would be, well, I'll show you why I have that there. So from, from this low, if I grab the length of the one, if the four, right, I don't have the four yet, but if I just use well, somewhere in this range, well, you can see, right, well, here's here would be the five. So again, I don't have the pivot here, so I'm just kind of estimating, well, if I hit it here, you know, something in that range would give me 100% the length of the one of the internal impulse, not of the original one too, but of the internal, right? Not a popular count. I get it, it's a little unusual, but we'll, we, we shall see. We're gonna know pretty quickly because this this all falls apart if, if we start to, to head down 
Well, then now we got to rethink what, what's happened up here. Possibly, possibly we've got a truncation here. Possibly we've got a, well, or just a double top into that five, although this is a little bit higher. So you, you would technically call it a truncation in the fifth. Maybe, maybe. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, something deeper is happening. I'm not going there until I'm forced to, until the market forces me to, and we break this triangle and we start heading lower. I don't think we need to go there yet. Now note here, I'm connecting this level, or this, this pivot, this two, and just same idea. Now here, right, I'm allowing for the throw over here because I'm connecting this pivot here, this pivot and this pivot, drawing it up. Not, I mean, of course, you've seen it with a regression channel, which is also a very valid way to tr try and approach this. One thing I do notice here, if we're looking for the, the, the size the length of time of these retracements. Well, one thing you can do is just kind of, just kind of eyeball it and say, okay, well that, that's really been about the the deepest retracement we've had. Well, how how is that going to compare over here? Well, you know, it's, it's it's not radically off. It's not like we've the symmetry is is so off that you couldn't lean into this count, right? If you're if you're as bullish as I am. Yeah, all right. Is, is, is it textbook? Yeah, of course not, right? But is is it valid? Yeah, it's valid, right? This this is this is reasonable. Unpopular count. L listen, if you guys w want the bear count, um, my, most of my senseis are very bearish. In fact, uh, Sensei Hove, who does regular updates on Bitcoin, but he puts them both on uh, on our Twitter feed as well as his. It, it, he's he's got um, a, a number of bearish counts that if you're interested in seeing those, wait. Of course, you can even watch our Twitter feed, you'd subscribe here, although you'd get a lot more access to him on uh, on the Discord, which, by the way, you can join us for free Wednesday, or pardon me, Monday. He and Sensei Tutum will be doing that live stream. Right? We kind of, you can get a different perspective on it than mine. But here, I remain a bull, and until uh, the market forces me to change that bias, I, I continue to see, all, the only thing I see here is the potential for the four to push to the five. Now, of course, right, that, as is always the case, I try and remind you guys, it, th this is just a snapshot in time. This this could easily, the entire count here could blow up, right? Market does something, you know, to invalidate this count. And now you're back here going, okay, well, it wasn't that. So now what is it most likely? So th these are, as I kind of alluded to last week, th these are always penciled in. The El Elliott counts are constantly changing as the market Right, as we kind of talked about last week, or maybe the week before, it's, it reveals itself to you. What is really going on? What is? What are the traders really up to here? So, as a snapshot in time, I do think this is still valid until until forced to to change this count. I stick with it now. So, I I, I come back to what what is it? If this is going to play as a triangle, and if it's going to play as a four, what is it the four of? Right, because. It would be so much easier if we could just go one, two, three, four, five, right? But this, right? If you're going, if you're going to apply Elliott, you can't. It's not. It's not there. Right? You can't. Can't have this. Right? Can't have the overlap. So you can't. You can't get it to work. So you've got to go. Well, as I let me let me rephrase. As I interpret this, it forces me and my thinking to go one, two, one, two, one, two. So the, this has potentially now, this is complete. Now, part, and again, we looked at this last week. Part of what's influencing that decision is where that three goes, right? So if this is one, two, and this is going to be the three, well, yeah, where's my high probability zone for a three, right? Right between the 1618 and 175. This literally gets a couple of ticks past the 1618. And since I can complete an impulse internal to that, I plant the three here, which means this is my four of this one, two, three, four, looking for the five to give me the three of the larger one, two. Right, that's, that, this count is vulnerable, right? So if we start to break down, well, of course it invalidates if we if we take out this pivot here. Right? So if if we're going to really start to come down, if this is going to turn out to be an intermediate top, and we're and we're going to start to come down, if we just go swing low to swing high. Oh Jesus, come on, get on there. Swing low to swing high. Well, look where that one is. Well, number one, I got a high volume note here. It's not quite the POC. Here's the POC, but I've certainly got a big, a big high volume note here. So if this if this starts to come down and we we're we're going to do something, so if if it ends up going one, two, three, four, five, something like that, 
Well, right here at the 50, this is gonna be mighty interesting if that starts to come down to see if it's gonna invalidate the potential impulse here, if, 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 big emphasis, if. Right, I think if, if we're doing that, we are really got something else going on here, then this count is likely gonna to need to be reoriented, recounted, and reevaluated as to whether or not you know, we, we, we remain as bullish. Well, let, let me say it this way, is whether I, I remain as bullish. Uh, I, I don't, we wouldn't necessarily, if we did this, if we just went swing high to a 50, you wouldn't, you wouldn't immediately go, oh, well, bull's, bull's dead, right? You, that, you know, let's be reasonable. So something like that is just a straight algo play. We got a high volume note, so you can throw the Elliott out. Swing high, swing low to a 50. I got a target, you know, relax bears, right? Like, that's not like, oh yeah, shit, boy, I knew I was right. Yeah, that thing was, we were going to three grand before we we're going to 20 grand. Not, not so fast. This would be a very substantial tell. We're down here to seven thousand. Right now, we're sitting. We're twenty-four hundred dollars away. Doesn't mean it's not possible, but you know, but keep some perspective. So, right, if you lose perspective, get back over here. Get out to a daily and say, okay, does that? If if we do that, right? If we go swing low, we're coming down to a fifty. Am I am I killing the bear, the bull there? It was just be an internal retracement. Now we go down here. Yeah, bulls, bulls, <laughs> bulls in trouble. But that that's a long way off. Right? We, we, that's we're, that's a six six thousand dollar drop. Is it possible? Of course, of course it is. Of course it is. Is it likely? Well, not as I'm interpreting it. So we're gonna know. Right? This we're to the point where if if we do this and we start to move higher, we're gonna we're gonna know where we are in the count. So that, that's the benefit here. We'll know. Okay, had a triangle there. Now if I break down, different story. But if I break up, I know where I am in the count. Right? Then then it becomes a question of well, okay, if that completes the three of the larger degree, well, four or five. All right. So there there we go. All right. So to cover everything. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else for you. Right? So we went through all of the geometry here. Here's my latest read on this count. I think, yeah, I think that's all I got for you. All right, so there you go, guys. Um, keep in mind, right? You know, particularly if you, if you've always considered trading in, in in futures, but were reluctant because you didn't feel like you, you could accommodate the risk, or you didn't have the margin requirements because you know X percentage of your portfolio was in was in crypto and you didn't want to pull it out because you had some long-term luggage and you didn't want to sell it. You know, again, I remind you here that using these in the micros, very, very doable, right? Very, very doable, right? So you'll see us bounce back and forth between full size and micros just to demonstrate that point, right? So any, any aspiring futures traders, the, the micros have really opened up the whole world to you. So keep that in mind. If you want to see how we implement this stuff, come over and join us on Tuesday. All right, guys, there you go. That'll kind of wrap it. You have yourself a good weekend and we'll catch up with you guys next week.